Good morning, Internet, and welcome back to Pixelmon. What I think will be, what will almost certainly be, the last episode. Because I have, well, collected them all, more or less. Uh, there is one piffling little matter. I do have a full set of all the ones you can possibly catch or breed. Um, and there is a reason why... Um... I've decided for the, the last episode that I'm going to cheat. So what I've done is I've enabled commands, which th there might be a way to do it in the game, but I just edit the, uh, the level dat file. Very easy. And what I'm going to do is I've already prepared all of the Pokemon that we need to trade. And I, I considered various logistics for getting other people, you know, somebody else to join the game. I'm not going to spend... 27 bucks, whatever, to buy a second copy of Minecraft and do it. Um, I did consider trying to use a uh, less than legitimate client, but I didn't want to risk ruining my legitimate client. Uh, wasn't really worth the hassle. Plus, getting the mod to work with it would be dodgy at best. Anyway, these are all the Pokemon that I need to trade, and they all have their respective items that you need to trade them with. Like, Poliwhirl needs a King's Rock or whatever it is. You can see that they're holding the various items that they need. The only item that's not in there is the Dubious Disc, because you have to give that to a Porygon 2, which I don't have yet, but I will have it soon. Uh, set up a little music, perhaps. Hope this isn't too loud. That's not too bad. Uh, so what I plan to do... Uh, let me show you this first. We'll go back to our handy little spreadsheet here. Uh, you can see I have 16 left, which are the 16 that I need to trade, plus one, which uh, maybe I'll talk about that in a moment. Let's see, here it is, the Glysaur, right? Uh, Gliscour? Gliscour? Let's call it Gliscour. Uh, I have tried to legitimately level this guy up. Now, that's why I have uh, this guy here. Oop. Right? I need a level 40. I raised this guy from a level 1 because I hatched him from an egg. And I gave him the Razor Claw. There it is there. And I can't get him to evolve. Now it could be, since I am using a slightly older version of Pixelmon than what's currently available, that it's not like enabled yet. But I figure I have done my due diligence uh, the best I can to get all the Pokemon uh, legitimately. And so I have enabled commands, and I'm just going to spawn in the rest of these and sacrifice the ones I've set aside explicitly for the purpose of this. So let's start with the Kadabra, I suppose. I'm actually going to move this off to the side so I can see it. Uh, there we go. Actually, let me move it a little bit more so it's not interfering with anything. There we go. And here we go. Let's see. What was the command again? Um, poke give. And then the username, and then the... I didn't look up the minimum level for these guys. Uh, I'll just do 30 for everything. That seems rather innocuous. Okay, there's the Kadabra. Oh, wait, no, that's I already have the Kadabra. The Kadabra is the one I want to trade away. Right, right, right. Get rid of that. Try this again. And uh, the Kadabra becomes an Alakazam. There we go. That's one Alakazam. It's a bit, um, how you doing? But you know what? We're so close, and I, I honestly have done everything I possibly could. Because I'm a champ. Uh, Alakazam, Machoke. You have done your job, thank you very much. Graveler, whoops. Hey, buddy. Nope. Um... A, that's the golem. Golem. And again, we'll just do level 30 for everything because that seems. Hi. Uh, that seems reasonable. Go back here. Graveler, you are out. Golem, you are in. Haunter. Haunter becomes. Uh, let me scroll down my little spreadsheet here. The Gengar. Okay. Hello, Gengar. Nice to meet you. Haunter, you are out. Gengar, you are in. Who's next? Right, now we're getting into some of the ones where you had the special items. 
Uh, the Poliwhirl. Let's let's grab all these guys. Um, ba -bum. Oh, no, I, I don't want to grab them because then that'll be... Uh, so the Poliwhirl, the Slowpoke, the Onyx, and the Scyther. And just to... Does this show you what they're holding? No. Will you trust me that they're holding the items they're supposed to be holding? Because otherwise it's going to get really involved. Uh, we'll just do the Poliwhirl next, and he becomes a Politoed. Looks too much like politics for me. Uh, we'll just do a couple in a row here. The Politoed, the Slow King. Whoopsie. I have to scroll my spreadsheet, so we'll get rid of these guys. Poliwhirl, you're gone. Slowpoke, you're gone. Politoed and Slow King. Hello there. Scroll down a little bit. The Onyx and the Scyther are next on the list. One of these days I'll get these buttons right. Let's see. Onyx is a Steelix. And Scyther becomes a Scyther. Uh, OR, yep. Okie dokie. Welcome to the team, boys. Uh, let's, oh, we get rid of these. Thank you, boys. Or girls. You know, I'm not really paying attention to the gender here. Okay, let's see. Let's scroll down my spreadsheet a little bit more. Cedra. Whoops, Cedra becomes, drumroll please, a Kingdra. And Porygon becomes a Porygon 2. How creative. Okie dokie, so Cedra, thank you very much. Porygon, you're done. Kingdra. And Porygon 2. Uh, let's see, the, these three are next. I know that. Let me scroll down my spreadsheet a little bit more. All the way down. And the Porygon 2, I can see, so I'll take this guy. Do -ba -do 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 -do. And I really did try uh, as hard as I could to do this legit. But it's just, uh, like I said, the logistics just aren't there. So, screw it. We're done. Electivire. Gotta make sure we get the spelling right. Okay, that's... Oh, I got... Oh, that one was sent to the computer. Dang, now I gotta find him. Uh, there he is. Okay. Right on, we're done. Electabuzz, we're done. We'll get the Electivire out of there. Uh, we'll do the Magmar next, I guess. Well, let's let's preemptively throw these guys out. Magmar goes away, the Porygon goes away, and this guy we keep. Uh, crap, I forgot the order. Uh, here we go. That first, and then this guy here. Right. Just try to keep everything straight so I don't mix everything up. Uh, Electivire and Magmortar. T-A-R. Whoops. Good. And what's... Let's see. Good, good. Now we need another Porygon 2. Right? And then we give this Porygon 2 the dubious disc. And then we can Porygon-Z. Is it Dash Z? Yes, it is. Now we have a Porygon Z. So this Porygon 2 goes away, because we already got that guy. This becomes a Porygon Z, and last but not least, the Boldor. Boldor becomes, drumroll please, da -da 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 Gigalith. Gigalith. And there we go. Achievement get. Just that easy. Well, I mean, like I said, uh, I, I tried to do this legit, but it just didn't pan out. Oh well. I don't know if you can get any of those guys sort of, um, well, no, it, that's not right. Oh, maybe it is right. Maybe uh, the Glysaur or whatever it is, what's, what's, his, what's his name there? The Glysaur is not actually a, obtainable in this version of the game. Which would make sense why I couldn't get it. But it is in the game. And I know this. Because I did actually peek at the, uh, the database. So do we want to cheat that one in too? Or go for 101%?
Sure. Now, if, if you're gonna cheat, you might as well go all out, right? Gly Scour. And, uh, yeah, level 30 is fine. There he is. Now, I don't know... Like I said, I don't know if this guy's legitimately in the game or not. Let's take a look at him. I mean, he's, he's level 33. Huh? I guess there's a minimum level for him, huh? But I tried. I tried. Doink. Alright. Uh, we'll just, I guess, put this guy away. Oops. The, uh... Ill-gotten gains, I suppose you could say. Although it's not really much of a gain. I mean, we are done. Absolutely done with this game. Uh, that'll be... 11 weeks worth of nonsense? I think. Oh, the chickens! Right, right. I forgot about the chickens. So, uh, it turns out that chickens do not spawn naturally. But, uh, you can get eggs from defeating uh, bird-like Pokemon, like Pidgeotto and stuff like that. Uh, and... See? Oh, it does work. And that kind of surprised me, because... Oh, hey. That was good luck. Uh, I just happened to be out in the swamp back here, actually. And I just threw an egg that I just picked up against the tree, and a chicken popped out. And that was amazing. So for the longest time, I was going to do, like, a gag about some kind of... You know, pretending the chicken was a Pokemon and all that, but... Screw it. So, since I'm closing up shop... I just took all the eggs that I had collected, they were like, um, I don't know, 30 or so, and I just threw them all in here and I got a bunch of chickens. And here we are. So, in short, what I did, I uh, did a couple of experiments. Pokemon will not spawn on what I guess you'd call unnatural surfaces, like this is wood, obviously. They will not spawn on the wood, but they will walk onto it. Uh, so this, on this side is an ocean biome, right? You can see right there is an ocean biome. Then as we go over here, this is a deep ocean biome. So we had, uh, well I had a lot of problems getting stuff to spawn in a deep ocean biome. But by providing like an artificial island type of thing, which I just pillowed up from the sea floor over here, built this little platform here, and then extended out. Um, Pokemon will jump at the chance. Because nothing can spawn anywhere out here on the water. And so they all spawn, like, right here. Hey. Um, sure. So I've just been doing, and I forgot to bring a bed. Oh well. Um, leveling up the guys. I would just, you know, go here and just, you know, fight everything until I ran out of move points. Um, take a dip in the bed if there wasn't one available. I should have brought a healer here, too, now that I think about it. should have built another healer out here. That would have sped things up considerably, but oh well. And, you know, by the time you clear off one platform, the other one would be absolutely choked full of... And these are all fairly good level guys. I mean, they're all in the 30s, 40s. You get a couple of slow pokes. A lot of slow bros, especially at night. Nighttime is a good time to do this. You get a lot of the higher level stuff. Uh, 30s, 40s, 50s. And it goes pretty quick. And also the uh, Dragonite will spawn here. I lost my computer too. Because this is a uh, deep ocean biome. This gives the place a... Uh, the Dragonite... There, oh, speak of the devil. This guy only has like a... I don't know, like a fractional percent chance to spawn. And this is how I finally got these guys. It says in the wiki that they spawn in the air, but that is not true. Uh, they definitely spawn on the ground. And I should use Drill Peck against this guy. There we go, and he dropped emeralds and diamonds and all kinds of good stuff. Which I no longer care about. But I can't help but keep because that's just the way I am. So yeah, this is a good... Oh, hello. This is a good way, if you're looking to level up your guys that are like level... I guess mid-twenties and up. And you're just looking for a whole bunch of stuff you can beat up? God damn, let me... Uh, you might see. I'm not wearing any boots, but I'm still moving, like, faster than normal pace. If I put these back on, which these only have, uh, like, the feather falling, they don't have any, uh, like, speed boost or anything on. But you see, as I put them on and take them off again, 
the field of view changes. So this is like the default Minecraft walking speed, just painfully slow. And I can run a little bit, and like it's really, it's bad. Uh, in fact, it's it's terrible that I'm so used to having the running boots. Uh, but if we put the running boots on again, because the field of view changes, now we move quickly, or quicker anyway, quite a bit quicker. And I made a pair of new running boots because these have durability on them. I wanted to test that out. Uh, but what you can do, what I found, and again, this is version 1. Point, uh, sorry, 4.1.4 of Pixelmon. There are newer versions. Maybe this is no longer a bug. But uh, if you shift-click to remove the armor, the effect is not removed. So now I'm, no, I'm still moving as if I'm wearing the boots, but I'm not actually wearing the boots. I don't know if that's useful for anything. I don't know. Maybe I should try to put on a new pair of boots, like a different pair, and see if it changes anything. Uh, but now I would like to know, because uh, these running boots, not only do they give you a bigger boost in speed, whoa, much bigger boost in speed, but they also take durability. These do not take durability. These do. So I'd kind of like to know, if I take these off in the same manner, uh, yep. Yeah, yeah we, we still have the effect, definitely, but we're not wearing the boots. Interesting. I just want to find out, do those boots still take durability, even though I've taken them off? Because if not, that's a more significant glitch. Uh, yeah. And if that's in the newest version of the game, you might want to consider trying to fix that. Stay away from that Arbok. In fact, let's uh, let's fight this Arbok. Might as well. Because here is the next bug. Again, they may have fixed this. Uh, you initiate a fight. And then what you can do is switch out your Pokemon and actually select... Okay, it's a level 1 Charizard. Okay. Which, that's hilarious in its own right. But I am fighting with a Pokemon that I should not have. Wow, that did absolutely nothing. Uh, we'll go back to the Zapdos. I'm just finish this guy off. Now we Thundershock him. And that Charizard that is in the egg, if I hatch this egg, right? Eh, whatever, I don't care. I don't care. Oh, God. If I hatch that egg... That will be like a level something Charizard now. Stats? Yeah, it, does, it still doesn't report anything. But I am leveling that Pokemon in the egg. Which I don't think is kosher. Uh, I shouldn't even be able to fight with it, to be honest. But I'm just sprinkle some doom about. This is all of the TNT that I've ever picked up from all of the uh, desert temples that I've raided. Uh, I have made some, but not, not nearly this much. I've made some. Only some. But that requires sand, and sand is a pain in the butt to collect. You don't really get much from Pokemon drops, and what little I have gotten, I've just thrown out. Because, screw it. I've already backed up the save, so I'm not worried about losing the world completely. But I thought, you know, let's go out with a bang. Do the season finale, whatever. I took out the uh, Apricorn form a long time ago, by the way. Helped with the frame rate immensely. Uh, although it's still pretty bad, it's still a lot better than it used to be. Uh, I guess we don't need too much here. Uh, this building's going to be good and blown up. Just continue... Kind of sprinkle the love. Get some over here, some over here. And blow up this farm real good. Yeah, 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 yeah. That should do it. I'm kind of blowing up these small buildings too, even though there's no reason for me to. Doink! And there will be TNT all over the place. It'll be glorious. Most of this stuff will go flying, I think, but we'll try. To blow up the town. All in one fell swoop. I'm kind of laying these out in kind of like a fuse pattern. But I know the explosives will send them flying every which way. 
do. Get some over here. I'll get over there in a second. Some more over here, maybe. Kind of work our way into the shop. I already know that these NPCs are completely immortal. Hello. That's a carpet. But that's not going to stop me from trying. Make sure these guys blow up. Get multiple paths here. Good. Just kind of blow up this area here. And we'll get some more going over here. Blow up these farms. Very nice. It's getting a little laggy. I think that's uh, with all the new Pokemon spawning at the change of the day cycle. It is now technically dawn. So all of the dawn Pokemon are spawning. And it... Uh, clogged up the works. That's the word I was looking for. Clog up the works. Doom, 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 the end. Get over here, we'll blow up. There's no redstone torches here, right? That'd be really quite terrible if there were some redstone torches here or something. You know what? I could just leave it here and wait for a Pokemon to randomly spawn and uh, blow the whole place up. That would be kind of fun, but I'm not gonna. Did I just put two here? Yeah. Waste not, want not. We have stuff to blow up. Now, let's see. That's pretty good. No! Oh! <laughs> oh, I don't want to go that way either. Oh, God. Um, playing with death here because there are all those pressure plates. Whew, that was close. Let's make sure I blow this up over here. Yeah, yeah, very good. I'm taking down the office. Do -ba -do 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 -do. Let's sprinkle the rest of this around willy-nilly. So much TNT. So little time. Yeah, let's make sure we get good coverage. One, two, and three. Okay. What do you think? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, and we have a celebratory egg. I don't know where I got that from. Uh, oh, I didn't put any in there. You know that? Let's gather up some of the ones that are kind of useless. Just put a little bit more inside here. I wonder if the lava can set these things off. Out of the way, chicken. One there. One there. And one there. That... Oops. One there. That should do it. Uh, hmm. I wonder if the lava can set them off. You'd think. Let's grab one here. Just, uh... What do you think? I don't think it's going to work. But, uh, let's get the Zapdaws out. Gotta go! Oh, the frames! Oh, the frames! Beautiful. That was amazing. Ah, oh, that was amazing. Uh, we missed a few. Had a few, uh... That one there got away. Waste not, want not. Ah. That was so satisfying, and there's one of the shopkeepers there. And the other one, I tried blowing up a long time ago, but he's all the way down under there somewhere. I dropped a lot of TNT on him, and he didn't even flinch. Ah. Uh, oh, here are the two guys that used to be in the, uh, the Poke Center that I buried a long time ago. They're free now. Uh, I don't even know what the hell this, where the hell this guy was. Ah. <laughs> uh, that was cathartic. Out of my way, Gramble. 
we get them all? Yeah, it looks like we got it all. Fantastic. So that's going to be the end of this. Thank you all for... Ah, oh, there we go. Thank you all for watching, and uh, have a nice day. Kill me.